Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to Ndi Wonine all over the world. I have a message for Ndi Wo that doesn't have sense. And for the ones that have sense, please do me a favor. Kindly give me a little of your time so that I can tell you my own view about Mbaka as a prophet and his prophecies. I don't listen to Mbaka uh, prophecies. I don't watch his videos. But because of what happened in Imo State lately, I had to go to YouTube to download all his prophecies. I took my time so that I can draw good conclusion. And now, this is my submission. Before I continue, I want pastors and reverend fathers to also listen to me because I have a very sensitive question to ask. Probably a spiritual question that I don't know nothing about. Please, on the 11th day of March, 2019, INEC declared Inhe Dioha as the duly elected governor of Imo State. When Imo indigents went to cast their vote, they were not hypnotized, they were not coerced, they were not under duress. They voted for the man they wanted to be their governor with their mind and their clear eyes open. And after declaring him as the winner, Imo people rejoiced. Everybody was overexcited because I followed up the video. And after then, trace it down a few months later. On the 31st day of December 2019, a certain prophet named Prophet Ejike Mbaka now came out and told his congregation that the Holy Spirit told him that Ihe Dioha um, is not going to be the governor of Imo State. Instead, he's going to be Hope Uzodema. Now I am asking you, pastors and reverend fathers, is Holy Spirit partial? As at that time in Imo State, Imo State doesn't want to have anything to do with APC. That is why they come first. They came forth rather. Imo State sees APC as a party, as a party of doom, party of darkness, and should have nothing to do with Imo State as a God's own state. Now, the prophet now came out and said that that is what the Holy Spirit told him. And after which, Imo people are not happy. After they swore the man they said is the new governor of Imo State in the person of Hope who's the man. Pastors, I want to know, is that how the Holy Spirit works? Now, this is what you want to get from me. After watching Mbaka videos, number one, Mbaka told you all, what I'm about to say might not be palatable for those ones that are gullible and ignorant. You might not like it the way it is, but that's the truth. After watching the videos, number one, this is my submission. Mbaka told you all that Muhammad Buhari was God sent and he has come to vindicate all of you. I hope you all are vindicated. Two, he said that the same Holy Spirit told him that Muhammad Buhari should not contest in the 2019 presidential election. As I speak, Muhammad Buhari is still the president of Nigeria. And from what I am drawing in conclusion from these two videos, Mbaka prophecies are disjointed, they are not connected, and they are very confusing. And I'm still in, in, in a doubt. Is Holy Spirit confusing? In the other video that I watched, I saw some group of Mala that came from Zamfara, Sokoto and Kanu to the adoration ground. Probably they were asking him for tickets. And Mbaka told them that you people have come. After you get what you want from us, all of you will disappear. We want to build hostel. We want to build this. We want to build that from what I watched. That is to say Mbaka is indirectly asking them for money. And I am now asking this question. What should a politician be doing in a place that is supposed to be the sanctuary of God? Is a politician, a bloody politician, dirty politician that soaked their hands in blood, should they be allowed to come within where the children of God, the so-called children of God worship? I am asking the pastors. Now, you have been going to this same adoration for more than five years. The useless politician that is responsible for you not having job. The useless politician that is making you to be going to this same adoration for many years of your life is now in adoration ground. Telling your Reverend Mbaka to give them tickets to be governors for life. 
tickets to be governor for third time or the senators and all of you are so comfortable with it you are not asking question i was thinking that indeed we should be one of the most intelligent race in the world that is not everything that they tell you that you stomach but I am really disappointed that the same Ndibu, even our elders, the grey-headed elders, are clapping their hands, smiling, some are preparing to go to uh, adoration ministry. The other ones have used Mbaka head to do profile picture. Some are now seeing Mbaka as a demigod. As far as I'm concerned, Mbaka is a politician and a businessman. Look at them. They touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. They have started coming. If you talk to me, hey, don't talk about the man of God. Oh. Hey, he will curse you. If you fear God, honor God the way you fear and honor Mbaka and all your fake pastors, majority of you could have come out of abject poverty. The problem with all of you Nigerians in this zombie republic is religion. Religion. Take away religion, all of you will be sanitized. Other countries are, are innovating good things and the ones in Nigeria are being so spiritual about everything. If I have my way, I will destroy all the churches in Nigeria and allow all of you to start afresh. You all don't deserve to be entering shrine in the name of church. Religion is the problem in Nigeria. The way heaven is, the way at the rate we are going, heaven will indeed be scanty. I wonder what will happen to the generation coming. And women are the most brainwashed. Look at them in the comment section. They don't even have sense. They have nothing to offer. And to think that the elders that should be telling the younger generations what they should do are even the ones clapping, the ones clapping from Baka. Now, Ihe Dioha is now the devil. Why hope Uzodima is the saint, according to AGK Mbaka. I want all of you to reminisce this with me. Aboki Malam left their iman and their monks, and they are now coming to adoration. To seek for tickets. I used to have respect for Catholic Church. I used to have respect for that uh, church. But after watching all Mbaka prophecies, I lost respect for Catholic. If you are a reverend father in a Catholic Church or you are a member of a Catholic Church, have it in mind that Catholic have made mess of themselves. There shouldn't be communication between light and darkness. How can you be harboring politicians that soak their hands in blood? You now use adoration ground to discuss dirty politics. And my ignorant brothers and sisters, indeed, where you go for life, are opening their brown and yellow teeth, smiling in ignorance. What do you know? Banedi Gunu for life. Why Rwanda? Rwanda is the fastest growing economy in, in, the, in Africa. And our own Zumbi Republic, Nigeria, are busy going to church from one church to another. If all of you have the quarter sense in Nam, they can have, majority of you could have come out of this slavery. All of us could have been sanitized, but no, church. If I have my way, I will destroy the whole churches in Nigeria. All of you should stop going to church. Church is causing more harm than good in this society. In this present generation that I have come into, in this dispensation, church has caused a lot of harm. Religion, look at all of them. Don't touch the bad man of God. Don't touch God, though, the man of God. Not even God. You don't even talk about God. You are so interested in the man of God. And now, they have given you full and enhancement in human states. And all of you are smiling in ignorance. I don't have anything to say. I leave all of you to think about it. And for the ones that are gullible, get a handkerchief, sit down, start wiping the tears from your eyes. You don't have sense. And all of you will never ever be redeemed again. Thank you for watching.